So many, so many flies, so many fly livers and spleen, spleens, fly organs. I mean, there's fly organs all over the place. Why isn't Ancestral Supplements putting these guys in bottles? I don't understand. I mean, we could get immense, immense nutrition. The pumpitude that I could be experiencing right now, fly liver. I'm gonna have to talk to Brian about that. Brian, it's time to be an innovator. Brian, listen to me, be an innovator. Don't be just doing the organ meats, you know, from, from bulls and cows and stuff. I mean, there's all these flies you could be accessing, mosquitoes. Think about it. Branding, Brian, branding. I mean, you could brand I mean, I, I think it could take the whole fitness industry by storm. See, you gotta be a little bit of a genius, Brian. You gotta be a little bit of a genius. You can't think old school all the time, you know what I'm saying? You gotta think outside the box. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Glam Bodybuilding Mountain. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about training every single day. Can you train a body part every day or even an exercise every single day of the week? Maybe you take a day off, maybe you take two days off, but the point is, can you train at that frequency level and still get results? Now, before I talk about this, I wanna mention one thing. I wanna mention Sam Weller, the guy that drew my t-shirts. He's launching a Kickstarter campaign to start his own comic book. So I'm gonna put the link in the description so that way you guys can go support him because he's awesome. And I'm thinking if he gets support for this comic book, then I might be able to convince him to do the Galantians comic book that I've had in my mind for a while now. And I'm starting to write some episodes of this. So maybe if he does well enough in this Kickstarter, maybe, yeah, maybe we'll be able to actually convince him to start doing something really useful with his life and, you know, drawing Galantian stuff. So my experience with training body parts super frequency or super frequently or super high or every day or whatever is quite extensive. I have spent lots of time training, like say chest every single day for five days in a row. And if you want an example of this, you can watch my pushing the limits playlist on this channel and you can see the play by play as I'm doing this, I'm training every body part every day. I'm doing full body five days in a row. Now, depending on the volume you are using, that will influence how frequent you can train that body part. So if you're doing too many sets or you're training too much for a body part, obviously you're not gonna recover by the time the next day comes around and therefore you may hit overtraining at a faster rate. You might not recover, so it's gonna work against you. But I do believe that if you're doing a low enough amount of volume that you possibly could get away with training every body part every day. Say you're only doing one set, or say you're doing sets that aren't to failure. Maybe you're just easing yourself into growth. So say you could do 25 reps with a, a weight on bench press. So say you're doing 225 on the bench, you're doing 25 reps. Maybe you just do 15 reps or 20 reps a day just to remind the muscle that it needs to grow. So the whole point of this type of frequency is to remind the body to grow, to lightly stimulate it every day, but not to annihilate it. So it may have a different sort of strategy involved, but that doesn't mean it would be less effective. And I think for short periods of time, this could be a very effective way for you to train. Now, another way you can apply this process is say you have a weak body part and you find that you're doing the high volume approach, you're training the body part twice a week, say you're doing 15 sets or 20 sets and you're just not getting results with that body part. Maybe you need to try the high frequency strategy for a period of time and then maybe just do one set a day or two sets a day and then see over the long run if your body seems to respond to that better than doing super high volume and infrequent training. So the whole basis of my two-day split programs that you can see right here is the premise of higher frequency moderate to lower volume but you can play around with this principle. Some of you guys will respond very well to super high frequency as long as you're having a day or two off a week you should be able to recover from this and yeah, just play around with the rep ranges. Because again, if you're doing one rep maximums, obviously you're not gonna recover from that, but it's easier for you to recover from 10 rep sets, 15 rep sets, 20 rep sets. And depending on how your recovery is working out will depend on what rep range will be most effective for you. So I find if I train super frequent, 
I need to do higher rep ranges. I cannot strain my ass off on five reps or six reps because my tendons or ligaments or tissues in the joints take longer to recover. So by the time I come around to training again, my muscles might be recovered, but my joints are totally broken up. So these are some parameters that you may need to play with. And I may, if you guys request it, if you guys are interested, I may design a program where you work the whole body five days a week and I'll prescribe the sets, reps, and exercises to help ameliorate as much overtraining as possible. So if you're interested in that, just let me know. But this is a very real premise to training. I really do feel that this could be the secret for some of you, and it's worth investigating. So yeah, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments. And yeah, if you're interested in the program, maybe I'll write that up because I'm super, well, I'm just super smart. I'm smarter than this fly that keeps on biting me. There's a lot of flies biting me. It's like they want the ultimate nutrition that's found in ancestral supplements and they know the only way to get it is to get into touch with my blood supply because I've been taking like 30 of those ancestral supplement pills every day. So that's probably what's going on. It's like I wasn't getting bitten by black flies before, but as soon as I start taking those ancestral supplements, it's like these fucking guys is just like, honestly, look at this. You see this blood right here? This, this, is, this is my blood that I just got from a fly. I hope you snowflakes aren't disgusted by that. Because I know there's probably one or two of you troll snowflakes out there that are just like, ew, <laughs> I can't handle the sight of blood. Well, take that, you little <laughs> All right, I hope this <laughs> channel helped you out a little bit. It probably didn't. I hope the information was useful. Maybe it wasn't, but I don't give a <laughs> because I'm myself. So go support Sam Weller's comic book. Stop being a snowflake and whatever. Mountain. Yeah. You know, it's these patron supporters that support this kind of shit. Do you understand? It's the patron supporters that do this. This is not my fault that I make such content. These guys right here are supporting this. Go, go complain to them if you don't like it. Don't thumbs down the video, just complain to them. Just find them on Facebook or something.